Hey, hey guys, so welcome to what's going to be the new space for Terra by Terra. And this is a video with the inventory that I have right now of my work. Um, just to show you, because if I had to take pictures of the inside, the outside, and all this stuff, and put it on Etsy, and it would drive me crazy, and it would be a full-time job, and I wouldn't be able to make any art. So, so here's a purplish piece that I made. The glaze didn't turn out too well on that one. This is really nice, actually. So we got this plum purple glaze grape, they call it, and it breaks in these blues, which is really nice. So this one's grape in black. I don't know if you can see that. You can see it better at the bottom. And you can see my hands, but you're big, so you can see the diameter on that. All right, this one is pretty cool. This one is kind of a Mediterranean mist color, and uh, it's got a metallic silver glazed sword on the front. Nice teacup. There's a little dent here, but I don't think, I think it'll still hold water. Although I don't know, actually, now that I put my fingernail in it. Uh, let's see what else we got. This one's got a nice little green inside. Outside. Here's one that uh, you could use for throwing dice. For D&D, that's what I was thinking. I was in a D&D kind of mood. I must have been watching Game of Thrones. So this one here is a pretty heavy cup. It's pretty heavy. And it's got the claw legs on it. Three-legged blue cup. And the first one I made was this three-legged uh, red cup. Definitely, definitely Game of Thrones inspired. Dungeons and Dragons. There's a little guy I made out of... I don't know why. His, he's got ears for microphones for ears and antenna for antenna uh let's see what else we got oh the dollar sign cup that's a big cup of coffee if you want a cup of coffee white interior green for money exterior beautiful it's got that jetsons kind of handle on it it's a little tiny cup you can put your rings in or something makeup or something for the ladies this is a, uh, this would be a flower pot, I guess, because it's got the hole in the bottom. It's got these kind of three legs from where the glaze dripped. Black glaze and red glaze. Oh, here's one. S the symbol, the Greek letter Psi on the front. It's multi-dipped, multi-colored cup. Perfect shape. Here's uh, Anubis, the Egyptian god. And some hieroglyphics. And I was trying to do something Egyptian there. This is from Homer, speaker of words and doer of deeds, which uh, Homer says about Achilles. This is Pandora's cup. And uh, you know, Pandora had a, had a jar, not a cup. This is a nice coffee cup with this kind of twisty handle, red on the inside, black on the outside. A little teacup. So that's that. Uh, let's see here. This guy, we had that sea mist glaze, which kind of uh, made this nice little pattern on the outside. We were first experimenting with that. Nice. Well, that's nice blue. This one says, Do brave things. Inspire others. Be inspired. Live bravely. So, you're eating your oatmeal in the morning. You can get inspired by that cup. This one was trying to make a D&D oil flask. You ever, you ever remember when they talk about flasks of oil and you lob them and they break and they do damage? I was trying to figure out what shape that would be because you can imagine having like a wick like sticking out of this and having the oil contained in here and then it would break on impact. So it does say oil on there. And uh, yeah, 
it's got a little it's stuck to the kiln shelf on the bottom so there's a little those are my early experiments this is a metallic gold bowl and it's got a lot of dust on it but it's it's pretty cool here can you see that it feels like it's metallic. It feels like, I guess it feels like gold. And uh, I don't know, I've never had a solid gold bowl. That's probably as close as I'm ever going to get to having one of those. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, that one's stuck. That's not good. Ooh, well, that's, so the glaze here, purple, Mediterranean mist, and this kind of curly Q kind of, um, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas kind of uh, handle there. I kind of like that. Let's see if I can get these two apart without, without breaking them. Yeah, that's fine. So this one is um, plum and green on the outside and plum and blue on the inside. It's got kind of this raised bottom. It's an indented on the bottom. This one is the Mediterranean mist that's got this nice flare pattern to it. There's a crack. There's a crack in that one. So discounted price on that one. Not gonna hold any water. Well here's that dramatic red and red and black. We just moved all this stuff from the studio, so there is a lot of dust on these things. Some of them more than others. This one's just the color of the of the clay, with a white with clear glaze on top. You can still see like a little chip um, of stone in the stoneware. That's what we used. This is flawless. There's no no cracks or anything in that. Here's a nice big bowl that I did. It's got a nice uh, polka dot pattern in there, and kind of a little bit of a spiral. And again, it's just the white stoneware. Just love that color. And that one turned out perfectly as well. So you can see I'm kind of. This one's got the earth tones, kind of this um, very uh, earth tony brown and oatmeal, and then the overlap there. Smaller bowl. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, right. So this is a new glaze that we got. And it's kind of um, like a copper. No, iron. That's it. Iron. It's called uh, Intense Iron, I think. And you can see it breaks in these wonderful kind of nebulous clouds. You can see where it breaks here too on the side. I like that one a lot. Oh, here we go. Here's one where we have the uh, kind of an exclamation point in the bottom of the bowl, maybe, or a pyramid with a sun symbol at the top. This one is okay. Here's what I did. So I glazed this <coughs> bowl. And I left this part around the, the, the what they call the waist um, unglazed, and then I painted it with chalkboard paint. So you can actually use chalk and write on the rim of this bowl, and that goes all the way around the bowl. There's a nice yin yang pattern, actually inspired by the um, the force. Users, I think they call them in um, the Clone Wars. Just love that pattern. In fact, here's another cup where I used a yin yang, but I used uh, triangles instead of circles for the um, other spots. And then there's random white and black triangles on the side and dots on the serpentine handle. There's some dice, some of them have different fonts on them. Here's one I just made up myself. And uh, here's an eight-sided die. Um, here's a small teacup. And uh, even though the uh, 
glaze ran on the sides I still kind of like it. it's really nice in the in the um, in the base of the bowl even though it ran on the sides but this says do or do not there is no try in arabesh which is the uh, common alphabet for Star Wars here's another um, brown and oatmeal bowl it's nice oh I was really into this purple so here's purple again this one has flat base and um, not the raised base like the other one that I showed you just about a minute and a half ago here's a big bowl with that iron glaze big iron glaze bowl very sturdy very sturdy small crack in the bottom I'll have to see if that's watertight if you're interested in that I will check anything that you want I will make sure I tell you whether it's watertight or not this is a black exterior green interior bowl I really like the way that green glaze fragmented into different you see that I don't know if you can see it here you go Two different shades okay this one is a again there's a crack in the bottom but um, has three triangular feet and it's a multicolor multicolored bowl oh here's a big one there's a big one. This guy here, this is a flower pot because it's got the hole in the center. And you can like drainage hole. And then this one is perfect. The glaze did crack a little bit here, but the bowl is intact. And many beautiful colors on that one. Oh, here's another one that you would like put your keys in maybe. Can imagine putting this by the door, putting your keys and just scooping them out with your, your hands. That's always really a nice thing to do. And another one. I would use that for coins or something like that. It's a nice pattern on that. Here's a really great teacup. Great blue on the outside and just the natural stoneware color on the inside. And a uh, kind of a serpentine handle, which you can tell I like the serpentine handles a lot what else we got here oh I got this ostentatious nine inch nails cup that I was trying to play with that was a fun experiment uh, yeah doing the downward spiral kind of drips so it's nine inch nails <laughs> It did crack, so like that would be a planter or something or conversation piece. Here's a, I wrote on this one, follow your bliss. Green on the inside, blue on the outside. This bowl is, is uh, kind of like a rainbow spectrum. There's grooves in here and each um, raised part has a different color and a white interior this one is kind of like a, a modeled white interior and uh, the exterior has a quote from repo man which says the life of a repo man is always intense you remember that 80s movie repo man with Emilio Estevez that's that's what that's referring to Here's another one with grooves in it. This is kind of like a beehive shaped pot. It's got a purple interior and a white exterior. A matte finish. This is, this says do both. So this is another serpentine handled teacup with a blue exterior. And the reason it says do both is because when confronted with a choice, sometimes I think it's an either or proposition, but sometimes you can do both. Here's a purple on one side and uh, that iron on the other. There's a crack in that. And unfortunately, there's a crack in this one too. That's a beautiful blue and Merlot. I'm sorry, purple and Merlot. And 
And here's our Star Wars design again, that plate, the uh, Force users. Dark side, the light side. It's a nice little, nice little plate or shallow bowl. Another uh, purple pot with the raised bottom. This is a quote from a meditation teacher that I have. Enjoy your spirit, laugh at your ego. Um, this is a heavy um, cup with a light handle. And that's um, from, uh, what, is the, what is her name? Um, oh, Amandine Roche, who has this amazing backstory. So if you ever get a chance to read about Amandine Roche, she's amazing. There's Mediterranean mist color. There's a big crack in that guy. This bowl has uh, the metallic gold in the bottom and the runny square and a runny triangle. <laughs> Too much glaze. This one says, the inspiration you seek is already inside you. This one says, your diet is also what you feed your mind. And then I started getting into these shapes like volcanoes. This one actually, uh, again, I have the chalkboard paint on the front where you could write something on there if you had contents in there. It's kind of shaped like the Apollo capsule. And another one that looks like Mount Vesuvius. Got like a purple interior and the uh, beautiful Mediterranean mist exterior. This one has kind of a human shape. It's got the waist and then the shoulders. And uh, that's pretty nice. Heavy, heavy pot. Flat bottom, heavy pot. Okay. So those are those. And, but wait, there's more. And if you're still watching this video, God bless you because, man, I would have cut out a long time ago. But actually, there's some pretty cool stuff here that I have. I made this one early on. This is a black cup. Really nice uniform design. This cup says, even the brave need rest do brave things. It's got this crazy triangular handle, small cup. This one is weird triangular shape and, in, and it has this um, triangular handle but inside it has the, um, the Thieves Guild symbol from the video game Skyrim. This one Okay, this is a Sator square. So, a magic square. So, what this is, is if you read it sideways, downwards, backwards, upwards, it all says the same thing, right? And what it says is Sator Repo Tenet Opera Rotas, which you could translate as Farmer Arepo, which may be a proper name. Um, has a work wheel or a plow. And uh, this was a symbol of early Christianity in the Roman Empire. They found these in archaeological sites and they're trying to figure out what they mean. And they think when Christians were being persecuted, they used those symbols to uh, identify each other. And actually there's more to it than that, but I can go on and on about that one pot. And this is a wonderful green cup, no handle, and a purple potato chip bowl. And a tiny coffee cup with a little handle that says wabam in the bottom. And this one has a black exterior, green interior. And here's a little inkwell or potion vial. And this one says, beauty and terror. Terror on the inside, beauty on the outside. 
That's from a poem by um, von Rilke. And uh, von Rilke said, um, Let everything happen to you, beauty and terror. Just keep going. No feeling is final. And I always loved that. This one is, I was obviously watching Game of Thrones. What do we say to the god of death? And then there's a question mark on the handle in the form of a question mark. And the answer is, not today. Not today. This is from Blade Runner. It says, I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. There's a crack in that one. And this says, so be it, Jedi. From the Emperor, Return of the Jedi. It says, do or do not. There is no try in English. This is another Skyrim bowl with the Thieves Guild symbol on the bottom. You can imagine this being you're in the tavern, you're eating soup, and then at the bottom you see the Thieves Guild symbol. Okay, this one has a lid, and it says in Greek, Pandora. And then in Greek, in the inside, it says Elpis, and Elpis means hope, because hope was left in the jar. This one says, do what you fear, and it has the words courage on the very big handle, and inside the cup it says, I am brave. So it's affirmation in the morning. This is more about what my girlfriend Tara makes, which is unbelievable, the detail. And I, uh, oh, and there's a little, like, face in the bottom. And I would have no problem um, if you bought this instead of any of my work, because she's, she really is amazing, the, the amazing artist. And I'm a potter. She's an artist. And this has a little, i got to paint that, but um, see these two, the blue... And then the bubbles on the uh, where it meets. That was a really nice effect. So that's basically all I've got. And then I've got all this stuff coming later, but i got to glaze all that stuff. So there's a start. And if you're still watching this video, go ahead and subscribe and share. And, and uh, don't remember, you can fast forward and you can... Use the uh, video as a time. You can go to the time date stamp and say, like, oh, uh, at 10.15, I saw a pot. It was red and black, and that's the one I want. And then go ahead and make an offer, and uh, I'll be able to watch the video and go and see where it is so you can use that as a reference point. So, anyway, thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for supporting me during this time. We're moving the studio. Everything's up in the air. I don't know jobs up in the air. Everything's up in the air for everybody. So uh, thanks for your support. I appreciate it. And uh, thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.